Hello everyone, Ross McDermott here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about hitting your irons absolutely pure, right out of the sweet spot. And I think what a lot of people maybe forget is just how, how good the top pros hit the ball. They hit every single shot right out the middle. Um, if you can feel a ball coming straight out of the centre of your club face, it, it feels really quite soft. It feels like you hardly hit the ball at all. And that's the feeling that the top guys are getting all the time. It takes a lot of practice, but there's a couple of things you can do yourself to ensure catching it right at the center. And one of them, at least with the shorter irons, the sand wedge, pitch and wedge, nine, eight, seven, six, we're gonna take a divot. The longer irons, the, the fives, the fours, the threes, and your hybrids, you're gonna take a divot as well, but it's gonna be a, a longer, but shallower one. But the ones I'm gonna show you today, I'll demonstrate some for you later with the help of a chalk line on the ground with my eight iron, are gonna be quite good size ones. You've maybe seen a few pictures of uh, some of the top guys on TV taking a, a shot with a pitching wedge or a nine iron and a big lump of grass coming out that Caddy's got to run after and go pick it up and stamp it back into the ground. Um, but basically, they're making sure they're catching the ball right in the center. Okay, so if you just show you my club head here, if I just pop this ball right in the center, you can see that when the ball's touching the center of the club face, there's actually quite a bit of space under here probably up until at least maybe the, the second groove is going to be going into the ground as I hit this ball. Okay, So for us to catch them right in the centre, there's actually quite a bit of space on the club head that's going to go into the ground after the hit with the ball. Okay, So once again, not very important, this is something you should always practice, is actually cleaning the grooves of your club, especially on the shots that you're hitting into the green. Um, these grooves will certainly work to give the ball that little bit of better grip, better contact with the ball, get the ball a bit of more spin as well, okay? So get the club head clean and then take a few divots, okay? Okay, so I've set up a, a white chalk line on the ground here. Uh, you'll see actually then where the divot actually starts just after the ball con contact. Uh, the lowest part of the the divot, and the base of the swing is actually going to be round about here, maybe two, three centimeters after the ball. That's going to guarantee that I'm going to catch it right in the center. Okay, so a couple of shots, and then you'll see the divots actually start um, after the white line. I've got my eight iron here, so certainly with an eight iron, I'm looking at making a really solid contact on the ball to make sure the ball is going to pitch and land on the green and stay there. It's not going to roll off. So that's going to give me some extra spin on the ball as well. I catch it right at the center and make a divot as well after the ball. Okay, so it's solid contact with that one right at the center. You can see where the divot actually begins after the line. A couple more of those. Excuse the plain noise going above. Nice contact with that one too. And one more just for luck. Okay, so I got all three of those really nicely out the ground. Nice and clean contact. I'll just hit one more to make the divot nice and tidy. So same again. Okay, so four shots, all straight in the line, divots beginning after the ball, catching the ball right at the centre. Okay, so right at the middle of the club head. Okay, so that's the practice drill. You can just see the, the divots I made on the ground here a few moments ago. Um, certainly when you're hitting uh, the shorter clubs, the, the pitch and wedge, sand wedge, iron, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, 
you're going to see divots like this in order for you to get the ball right out the center. I recommend you use that chalk line, practice from the grass, you'll see your balls fly much better, there'll be more of a climbing flight to them, they'll have more spin, they'll stop quicker on the greens. Um, it's just the way the pros do it, so I recommend you practice that like crazy. Okay, so have fun and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.